Hey everybody, it's Apache from Infinitesis.com. In this video blog, I'm going to show you a simple project that you can do with Arduino. Um, basically, it's a physical art monitor. Uh, you use an EtherCAP to monitor your network, and if it detects any art poisoning, it will communicate with the Arduino uh, and tell it to light up a LED. The Arduino is an open source electronic prototyping platform based on a simple I.O. board and a development, development environment that uses the wiring library to simplify writing C programs that run on the board. Our Arduinos can be used to develop standalone interactive objects or can be connected to software running on the computer. Basically for this project I run a Python script on my computer and communicate to the Arduino through the USB port. The Arduino utilizes an AVR microcontroller that has 14 digital I.O. pins, six of which that can produce a PWM signal and it also has six analog inputs. For this project I use a single PWM output to control an LED. You can purchase an Arduino pre-assembled uh, offline or you can assemble it by hand. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the Arduino. You're going to need to download the Arduino software from their website. Here's the code for the Arduino ARP COP. Basically there's two functions, the setup function and the loop function. The setup function is run, is run as soon as the Arduino turns on, and then the loop function continues to run uh, after the setup is finished. And for this project, our setup function uh, basically sets the output pin and starts out the serial connection. After the setup function is finished, the loop function will start. Basically what it does is it waits for an ASCII A to be sent over the serial connection. Basically that A is sent whenever the software running on the computer detects art poisoning. And basically after art poisoning is detected, um, the Arduino will fade the LED in and out. And that's why we're using the one of the P, PWM uh, outputs. And basically it will just fade the LED in and out until it detects an R over the serial connection. This R will be sent whenever you close the program running on the computer. And basically it just fades the LED out. Alright, let's uh, compile it here and upload it to the Arduino and we can just test it out using the, the serial monitor. And I'll just send a character A to the Arduino. And, uh, and as you can see, as soon as the Arduino receives that, you'll start fading the LED in and out. And I made a little uh, origami box and put some ceram wrap in it so that it'll cover up the Arduino and diffuse that light. and then I can send R to the Arduino and as you can see it will fade out. And basically I just have this little LED uh, I cut off the ground lead and soldered in a resistor that way I wouldn't have to have any extra circuitry on here and uh, I just have it uh, the positive edge connected into port 11 and uh, the negative edge connected into the ground. And that's basically it for the Arduino side of this project. Um, let's hop on to my Backtrack 3 computer here and I'll show you the uh, computer side of this project. Alright, basically for the computer side I just use a Python script. And let's just open it up here and I'll show you how it works. Alright, this Python script uses this system, subprocess, and serial modules. Um, Basically what you do is you input your uh, your network interface and your serial port that you want to use and uh, and then it uses a subprocess function to open up EtherCAP and run the ARPCOP plugin. And the input and output of EtherCAP is piped to this program. This program will read in all the output from EtherCAP and uh, look for the text warning. And why I do this is because the ARPCOP uh, plugin uh, displays warning every time it detects our poisoning on the network. And uh, once it finds that warning message, it will write A to the serial connection and uh, inform the Arduino to light up the LED. 
and uh, whenever you push control control C the program will end and send R to the Arduino telling it to uh, turn off the LED but before the script will work on uh, Backtrack 3 we have to install the serial module and I'll just do that real quick here uh, just type in Python setup dot p y and install and once that's done I'll be able to run the Python code alright uh, I'm just going to type Python Arduino ArbCop um, the network interface and uh, the serial connection which is just dev TTY USB 0 and uh, alright now it's running and monitoring the network for our poisoning alright now I'm just going to hop on to the other computer to run the art poisoning attack Just the typical setup. Um, all right. And uh, pretty much immediately after I run the R poisoning attack, uh, the program detects the R poisoning and the Arduino lights up. pretty cool. Um, it's basically just a physical way to monitor art poison on the network. All right, and as you can see, the, the program also outputs that it detects art poisoning. And, uh, and push control C and it'll tell the Arduino to stop lighting up the LED. And uh, yeah. And at any time, you can run this program again, and if uh, art poisoning is detected on your network, the Arduino will light up. So, uh, so basically what I think you would do with this project is have the Python script start on startup, and then just have the Arduino always sitting next to your computer, so that way you could be physically alerted um, whenever you're, you know, getting hacked. Motherfucker! Well, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, see you guys later.